Hey, so what's going on, guys? Well, we've reached the uh, fourth update in the um, aquaponics versus cracky hydroponics indoor growing experiment there. And it's fitting it's about time. It's just starting to get hot outside in Florida. I need to start doing a lot more outside growing. Well, I shouldn't say starting to get hot in Florida because, goodness knows, it's very hot. Before I take in here, let you see what the... Uh, the results are and I'll probably let a few more things grow after I thin it out like I talked about. Um, I just want to go over a couple of costs with you in case you guys, you know, I had a couple people ask me that and one person asked me uh, what's the taste difference so we'll find out. I want to do a little tasting of it as well. So anyways, here's some of the numbers I got. Um, now, the hydro system cost me to run it for this experiment. Um, now that's with it was six dollars and ten cent for the electricity for the basically the month that it ran. So six dollars and ten cent for the hydro system, and the uh, depending on what um, um, hydro hydroponic nutrient I was running, um, the canna of course is, it comes out to be about twenty two cent a gallon. And the master blend is about five cents a gallon. And I think I mix up about three gallons of each. So 15 cents for the master blend. Or, yeah, 15 cents for the master blend. And about 66 cents for the canna. Both seem kind of small in comparison. And that $6.10 ran both of those um, hydro reservoirs. So the thing of it is, is. Um, that's really cost effective. Now the aquaponics system, the one in there with the catfish that was running side by side with the hydroponic nutrients, cost me nine dollars and twelve cents a month to run with all electricity. Of course, there was no other. Um, hey, get away from that gate! Dog trying to break out of prison. Yeah, don't come over here loving on me now. Anyways. Um, so the aquaponic system, the, this, the second system there, right, like I was saying, was running right next to the hydroponic nutrients. It was uh, $9.12. So basically it cost about roughly $2.80 more. Well, if you take in consideration, but it's about a dollar for nutrients. So probably about $2 more, roughly, to run the aquaponic system than the, um, the hydroponic system. So that's not too bad. I'm going to get in a lot more of these calls as I keep making future videos because I've had people ask me about doing a um, cost analysis to see if it's effective, so I'll work on that. Anyways, the third, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, my wife's over there behind at the door making faces at me, and I'm trying to concentrate. You guys know how I am, just a monotone, blah, 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 but she's cracked it up a little bit. So anyways, if you go to the the third system there, it cost um, just a little bit more. It cost eleven dollars to run that. Reason being is I have a couple more lights on there, and I have uh, a bigger, a little bit bigger pump running it. So you know, six one half dozen other. So really, it doesn't cost that much. I mean, for eleven dollars a month, you should be uh, getting a decent amount of veggies, I would think. If not, it'd be more productive to go to the store, which I mean, I feel I have. I've gotten my $11 worth, especially when you go to look at, um, you know, like the herbs, expensive price of those. I got, I would say $11 worth in there right now, but it's not just for the vegetables for me. If I was doing, if I was going to grow aquaponics, well, let me get you on that side point. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in another video. Let's just get back to the experiment at hand. So basically, the hydro is cheaper. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and see if the production was cheaper. You know, I mean, if we got a better production for that lower amount of price. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. We have the aquaponics systems, aquaponics beds there. Um, if you're looking at them, they're looking pretty good. Lettuce is a little bit smaller, but I mean, it's a forest in there. Realistically, guys, I overcrowded it. So to get to a proper answer... Um, we'll probably have to wait on a future experiment to get maybe just like one plant versus one plant, which is kind of hard to do, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyways, uh, it's still looking good in here. You can see some discoloration though on some of the aquaponics 
uh, leaves. Now, there's been no supplement added to this aquaponic system, so of course that's what you would expect, probably a little bit of malnutrition, I guess you would say, plant malnutrition. Now, here we go on the hydro. Everything looking really good there. Uh, all the leaves are nice, dark, green, and healthy. Now, another thing on this experiment, when I put the two different nutrients in, you know, I really didn't compare apples with orange apples because I have different plants in here and here. Now, I do have one kale here in the hydro, and then a, a kale here in the canna, and this one in the master blend, excuse me. And the master blend does look bigger. Of course, though, there's a lot more plants sucking nutrients out of this batch, so... And there's only two in here, and the spinach is looking really good. So I'd say overall, regardless, it's a success on both levels. Once I get them outside, um, I think they'll be doing much better, you know, plant-wise. I, I, you know, I, I just do the inside to keep the plant, the fish going through the winter and keep my breeder tank so I don't have to do a bunch of water changes and stuff like that. So it's good in that. So let's go ahead and mosey on down here and take a look at the third bed and see what we got. So hold on one second. Okay, so here we have the third aquaponics bed, and if you're looking at it, some of the stuff, I've pulled out a few lettuces, some of it's looking a little leggy, and I do have a, di a couple of different lights in here, so I'm thinking that that was my problem. The lights I have aren't exactly the same as I have down there, because I had, didn't have all the bulbs for that, so some of this lettuce is looking a little leggy, mostly the butter, butter crunch is looking a little bit leggy, but I actually ate some of it, it's dang good, so leggy or not, it's still alright. Even the kale, see how it's kind of skinny and tall. This one hasn't grown much at all, really, when you look at it. Um, so, if I had to say, I would definitely say that the hydro has outperformed the aquaponics, which is what I expected. Now, keep in touch, because I'm going to be doing some further experiments in the future. And before I go, I'm going to go down here and do a taste test to see what, what uh, turned out better. So, hold on. Okay, so let me pick a leaf off of the... Is that in the aquaponics? Yes, it is. Let me just pick a little piece of leaf off there. That's good. Nothing wrong with it. At all. Let me take a little piece off of the, the hydro here and see what we got going on there. There's not much difference. The hydro may be a little bit more robust. I don't, you know, realistically, I think they're both pretty close. And I got a nice little leaf lettuce harvest here, and I've been getting some of this kale off of my smoothie. So anyways, guys, that's the experiment. That's the cost of it. I'll be running a lot more experiments. Hopefully be better control, better, you know, uh, just better experimentation process. But hopefully I helped you out and get a little bit of a little bit of info there. You can grow great inside with a small aquaponic system, which this one is. And uh, so, yeah, if you're wanting to get started growing some, go ahead and knock it out. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Look forward to the comments, questions, and everything else you may have. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. You guys have an awesome day. Bye.